Check, check. All right. Good afternoon. I'm Destiny of a Dragon Warrior. Destiny for short. And I'm playing a Dragon Warrior Randomizer standard race today. Thanks for the good luck, fell sorcerer. Hey, thanks for the good luck, Mr. Sporting Chap. <laughs> yeah, I totally thought I would be streaming again before my next tournament race. I was wrong. Okay, I'm the last player to ready up. Good luck, have fun. We have five players today. Standard tournament flag set. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting, whoa, I didn't do all my things. Ah, go, go. I knew something didn't feel right. Well, everyone else gets a five second uh, mulligan on me. <laughs> Double keys. And a curse belt. No spells. 15 and 12. Okay, so we'll come out of here. Come back in. Don't need to be too worried about strength, but we'll think about the uh, Fairy waters and torches. Don't get trolled by the NPC. Erdrick's token, not immediately helpful. Gold in the middle. That was an herb. It's another herb. I don't check downstairs immediately when there is uh, double keys. But with the modified flag set of no armor and Sharlock, there's a bit of a greater chance of armor being down in the basement. And today that's not the case. So it's just the harp. Trading cave is underneath. We've got gold in the middle. We have all the information. Okay. Fighting a magic drake with 15 strength. We can do it. Maybe. Gotta hit a little bit harder than twos. Okay, we should have at least two, if not three, shots. All we needed was one. Level two. Whoa! 23 power! 23, 3, 6, 15! Still no spells. down here. Oh, there is a cave. We'll check that out on another walk down this way. We know we only need 85 gold to get all of the gold. Let's go east. Ok, 
Okay, nothing immediately there. I think we have our eyes on that cave to the southwest. Hmm, ambush wasn't good, but I... <sighs> oh, wow, that was a series. We get ambushed. He dodges our attack, and then he blasts us with DL2 breath, like... Other than that, that fight went great. Uh, so we know wolves are bad. The cave is grave, so we can set up a gold grind even though we haven't seen any towns. Normally don't like to do that. We'll set the gold grind aside. Oh, we can't even get to the first chest because there are wizards in here. All right. Let's get a couple of levels here. Let's see what else is down in this zone besides drolls if we can. are the worst. They can certainly run from us. Those guys with sleep and hurt, huh? Come on, wake up. And he runs away. We try to one-shot this fool. Scorpion! That's alright at this point. Quick 16 experience, another one of those would be the level. And there it is. Oh, not quite. That was my math off. 82 experience is the next level. Everything's running away! Come on, guys! Oh, I was one experience away. Shouldn't have run for that one slime earlier, apparently. Four more strength. Four, three, zero, one. No spells. Ugh. What else is over here besides wolves? Wolves. Okay, we should get keys and herbs, I think. We've got enough gold to do the keys. So we're gonna go to open the back door, buy one key, use that one key to open the treasury, get gold from the little chest, get two herbs, as well as the token. Don't wanna forget about that. And then come back here, buy all the keys. No NPC blocks today, it appears. Let's see what this guy has in store for us. Get our token. Herb. Another herb. And a boatload of gold. We'll take that and buy five keys. Get us back to a total inventory of six maximum. Then we're set on keys for a while. Of 
course I can't count and I tried to buy a six key. Let's actually use one of those herbs. Try to get the level. Hundred sixty-five is the next level, so we're seven away. <laughs> Twenty-two wasn't enough to take down the poltergeist city runs. Turn. We finally learned a second spell, and it's not useful. Peak north. We haven't been north. That goes nowhere. Ooh, we have a town. Cantlin. Um... Old grind to everything? Haven't seen magic armor. Too while we're here. Okay, so there is everything. Let's buy herbs and spend herbs to get coordinates while we're here. One. I think we have one, so that's two. Now we're at three. Four. Five. Six. Should have used one. There we go. 64 is not bad. It's our agility at still terrible. Okay. We'll get the coordinates when we come back for all the gear. This guy will take us out pretty easily, right? Die back home. Try to dive grave. Set up the gold grind. Stop spell. Haven't seen Drakima yet. We'll see you in a minute, Spectre. Here, there's three chests to open. Get wings, gold, and double gold. Let's see if we can peek the fourth chest while we're in here. I don't mind blowing a key on that right now. Oh, there's red dragons. Okay, we'll just die. So there's red dragons and wizards in Grave 1 and Mountain 2, right? Is that how it goes? Either way, we have a gold grind available because that was three chests, and then three chests in the original spawning of the throne room stay in the memory. That's six. So we'll open up our two herbs, and then the ninth chest in the middle will be our goal that we can pull an infinite number of times because the game never clears its memory. 
on the ninth chest. The basic programming of the old Nintendo game, trying to save as much space as possible, only took into account enough room for eight open chests, so the ninth one doesn't recognize as being opened, and we can open the ninth and any subsequent chests an infinite number of times. So we are going to open this for about 34,000 gold. That will be enough to get us our flame sword, magic armor, and silver shield that we saw in Cantlin. All of the best items that money can buy. Normally I wouldn't bother with Silver Shield, but number one, it's right here and we're already doing a gold grind for everything else. And number two, agility has been low so far in this seed, even though we're only at level six, it's kind of hard to make a determination off of just six levels, but possibly looking at low agility, get as much defense to offset that as possible. So I'm gonna go for the Silver Shield. It's another 15,000 gold, just another minute here of grinding. Can also help in the end game if we're repelling monsters in Sharlock. So we'll be defense breaking a lot of enemies now with the magic armor and silver shield. That'll be enough gold. We're going to go back and talk to the king to save. In case we die, then I can reset and not lose half of all this gold that we just churned for. Should have cast return there. Go away, skeleton. <laughs> There's Cantlin. Easy walk. I know there was Flame Sword and Silver Shield in the locked shop, so we'll just take care of that right away. Get our key back. And then Magic Armor in the bottom shop. with that purchase on the flame sword so we'll sell our curse belt oh wait what am i thinking we already got the flame sword i'm buying a magic armor Durr. Uh, can't it'd be cool if we could buy two flame swords one for each hand that'd be epic We have enough herbs to get our coordinates. Taking 15 damage per step. Thirteen south, forty-three west. Take the death out of that. Do our count and start fighting some better enemies along the way. Okay, so two, three, four south. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Holy cow! So twenty-seven west is grass between swamps. We've got two towns in a cave to check out. And a star wyvern to check out. 
With hurt, all right. Let's take down the Star Wyvern. Excellent enemy. This was definitely the seed in which we wanted to gold grind. Uh, high strength, low agility, no useful spells at level six. Not even utilities like sleep or stop spell. So we have Garenham, three chests, and a cave in the back. Fighter's Ring gives us two more attack power. A torch and some gold. Gold no longer useful. Since we bought all the best gear. Take a peek in the basement before we move on. Ooh, Swamp South. Scorpion. And this warlock will be level 7. Ha! It just crit the warlock! Two crits in a row! Zero, four, twenty-five, zero, and heal more. Now I'm interested in what the spike tile is. Dragon, we can take this guy down, right? Ooh, he's got sleep. Not so much. Okay, so we have Garen. Um, let's heal more and see if we get lucky. Nope, he likes his sleep. Okay, green dragons like sleep. Yeah, it's three for three on sleep casts. Try to get him with this last swing. We got him. Let's go through here. And not sure where we're at. It's like a little island in the middle of nowhere. That time he didn't cast sleep. Okay, so he's like four out of five or three out of four for casting sleep. Thirty-four at level seven. We're just chopping down red dragons at level seven. One, three, seven, eighteen, and hurt more. Okay, so there's nothing here. Let's return home. Not gonna bother going into there. Let's go back to these towns. That'll be a faster heal. I'm gonna hurt more of this wolf. Even though that felt feels silly. Check out this other town. It's cold. So we have an item laying on the ground in the search spot, four steps south of the bath. Bath necklace. Not particularly useful right now. Um, now yeah, let's repel. Check out this other cave. Coal. And then we'll continue our coordinate count. So that's what we were doing when we first came over this way. Stone's Cave, one free treasure chest. And there's Erdrick's armor. All right. So this was four. So let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We are now 15 south, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Ooh. 
no effect. So we need to go one to the west and two to the north. I could, might be able to even take this guy swinging. Swinging a hurt more, but I'm not gonna risk it at this point. So, one, one, two. I counted right. Nope. We've gotta be off by just one here, right? 13 south, 43 west. We went all the right directions. I will do the spiral of search of sadness. Oi. Like that's the original spot I thought it was. These are by a little body of water. That kind of helps close us in. How was I off by this much? Hmm. The Star Wyvern will be level 9 at least. if we need any of that. Talk to no one. I mean, at least we're fighting enemies out here, so it's not a complete waste of time. How are we doing on swinging on this guy? Ah. 20, but we still got him. I go too far west. Okay, now I'm annoyed. If I go home and I go due south and then due west, I should be able to hit it spot on, right? I'll fight Star Wyverns and such till level 10. are not included. Oh gosh. Look at that. We run fail to a slime. We hit him for 49. It's almost like a chaos seed. Our spells are return, repel, heal, and heal more and hurt more. So Grave was right there. Stop. Hurt more was no effect that time. What do you got? Two, two, zero, one. Sleep. See, now all the stat gains are slowing down on us. How many herbs do I have? Three. Let's stock up on herbs while we're at an easy herb shop. One. Two. And three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and nine, or ten. This is nine, Ron. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four. 
25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. I searched this spot. I totally searched that, right? Come on. How did I search all of the grass tiles around that, but not that spot? Whatever. <laughs> Gosh, this zone is calling me to just hang out for a minute for level 11. Especially with low agility. Counters. So that was a dead end. If repel off, we'll be in a town in a minute. These guys are annoying. Here's level 11. <laughs> We're still gonna get level 11 armor knight. I don't care what you say. So level 11 gets us 3, 5, 12, 2. Not much more help. HP is out of control. Gosh. MP is a little low. We're a couple heal more short of go. Agility is very low. Otherwise, we're in go mode. We've got all the survivability, so let's go destroy this map and find something to grind, right? So that was... Freebie Cave. See if this dead ends or if it goes anywhere. Unnecessary crit on the Magiwyvern. This is likely gonna dead end, but you never know down here. Ooh, Red Dragons! Let's see if Red Dragons have any abilities. Otherwise, we'll just top chop this guy down. Great find here, this red dragon. Unless there's one in Hoxus. <laughs> you got it, red dragon time. Should be safe on the swing as long as he doesn't dodge, and he doesn't. 350 experience, just like that. We've got so much power and hit points. We're taking down red dragons at level 11, are we at? <laughs> There's another red dragon for level 12. <laughs> so all we need is uh, stones and harp. We've only seen one cursed belt. 06413. We do have the death necklace that we picked up in Colch. Another Dread Dragon, okay. An unscheduled Red Dragon grind is on their way. Did we get 12 magic points on that last level? That's actually a big help. That gets us to eight heal mores. <sighs> Another Red Dragon. Quite a jetty seed, but we've got a lot. We still have a lot to uncover. Haven't seen anything besides the top three chests in Grave. Don't want to leave that behind for too long. Haven't seen Hawksness. We got coal. We got the coordinate search spot. 
we need to see Remolder with one chest. Uh, we need to see Mountain. That's going to be a big find. And we need to see the Rainbow Drop Trading Cave. And we need to see Sharlock and Tablet Cave. it down here so I think that's it all together over on this side um, see if there's anything no or if I didn't think so Just goes like that. That's where we saw the Magic Wyvern coming in. That's gonna be level 13. One, four, two, one, hurt. Can take Demon Knights. And hurt more. Didn't quite one-shot him. I'll stay at the inn at... Let's have sleep, so we don't want to mess with this guy. Come on, wake up. That or we'll just get sent home, either way. Yeah, so that's gonna extend north. We're gonna stay at the inn. Aaron Ham is a little bit closer to... Getting into town. Let's see what our max MP is. It's it's in the mid to high sixties, I believe. It's 74. 140. Yeah, we're at... Aside agility being trash, we're at go. Go, go, go. Like, let's find all the stuff now. Charlock's to the north. There's another cave. Tablet or mountain is what we're down to. Or the rainbow drop trade-in, and that's what that is. So, Charlock... Drop is right above. Up oh, there's a cave across the way. Can we get there from here? Yep, this is gonna take us to either mountain or tablet. Mountain highly preferred, of course. No, it's not. Okay, so that's dead end. There's a cave over there, and that didn't look like where Swamp North popped out. stuff along the way because we'll want more agility and a little bit more of a cushion going in the Sherlock's <laughs> 40 50 some agility is terrible but we're gonna be over leveled on everything else we have the death necklace we have 130 attack power right now we have nine heal mores south of Sherlock. This goes north, so north and then west must connect to that cave. Mm, no. Mm, maybe. Well, here's Hawksness or Remolder. Hawksness. This is a big find. If it has something underneath it, it's gonna be flute, harp, or stones. Grind is a blue dragon, so it looks like red. Well, it's got hurt. That's 
better, but it's still three shot for 180 when we can three or four shot red dragons for 350. Oh, and it's got heal more. Ah! We don't know stop spell yet. So that means we are going to have to hurt more it. Oh, it wasn't enough. It's got high HP, so two swings and a heal more. No, that 41 should do it. 41 and a hurt more. Come on. There we go. It's a silver harp. Harp trading cave is at home. So I have to get home at some point. Hawksness is there. Another red dragon zone. This is taking me away from that cave, isn't it? Yep. There are two caves outstanding, though. So it may not be the cave that I wanted. Or the stones could be in deep grave and this is for nothing. Could also come back down by home. Okay, we've reached the east coast somehow. dragons. We'll take them. This will be just short of level 14. Okay, here's Remolder. We've got one chest to check in here. How are we doing on keys? we got three keys, so we'll have one key left. We're gonna want to go home and trade in the harp pretty soon stock on keys if we're gonna dive grave that's yeah, a fairy water we still have a lot of spells to learn we don't know stop spell be a problem with that blue dragon if it's on the Sherlock Spike. Okay, time to go home. Not gonna fill MP, we just did that in Remolder. We're gonna use our last key to open up the back here, buy a couple of keys. to be safe. Four is probably three more than we will need. I think we're gonna dive grave by the time we uh, get out of here. Let's trade in the harp dive grave before we go try to track down mountain and tablet. It'll be a quick dive, especially with silver shield. You're repelling a lot. Take it. <laughs> A 
Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, there's red dragons in here. Red dragons and wizards. All right, looking for agility and MP. 216, 10, 20, stop spell and outside. That's everything we want. And we even have outside to get out of grave. Perfect time for a dive. Stones and chest four would be amazing because we have no more grinding to do. We are in 100% go mode. We just need the Stones of Sunlight. We know where everything the trading caves are. Torch. Burn these torches out of our inventory. Put the Pell back on. We don't need to fight a single enemy. Although if we do encounter the reds, we will chop them down because we'll have better luck doing that than running from them. So this is a seed where we'll be over leveled potentially. <gasps> There's the stones! We don't need mountain, we don't need tablet, we are... In go. The cave was right above, so let's do this. Seventy-three agility. Okay, we're up to good agility. Yeah, we're. Let's go. Let's beat this sucker in less than an hour. Practice with a jetty jet seed. Diving grave was the answer. North is the Rainbow Drop Trading Cave and Charlock. Didn't that just all come together? We made one big long walk around the top and east edge that was unnecessary. Otherwise, this went great. When we stopped and fought red dragons, it wasn't like my choice. Like, we just got the encounters. We did it, so whatever. They are going to be a pain through here. There are reds and armored knights on the first floor, so let's get out of this first floor. <laughs> This first zone as fast as we can. Neighbor, my man! You missed another baby seed! We're about to finish it! <laughs> 40 some minutes. We just entered Sharlock. It's a pop up race. Not a tournament race, just a standard community race. This one going so fast, we'll have to play another one right after this, won't we, huh? <laughs> We're done with this in less than an hour unless something tragic happens down here in Sherlock. Which I hope doesn't. You didn't bring the torture, did you, bud? <laughs> Alright, out of the first zone of Reds and Armor Knights. Oh, dude, we were fighting Red Dragons at level 11. This was a wild seed. The strength just kept on coming, and then we got a ton of hit points. Gold grinded. We got sword and armor not long after, which kind of mitigated the need for the gold grind, but I'm not too upset about it. Still feels like that was the right play at that time. And again, unless something tragic happens here at the end, we're about to finish in under an hour. 
which I've done before, but it doesn't happen very often. My tournament race last night was a fast one, and that was an hour and three minutes. Casually running from the blue dragons, like that. Golems spam in the U. Five encounters in the U. Now we're going to try to make it across the straightaway. We get another encounter. We're already in the basement at 50 minutes, ready to fight the Dragon Lord. I mean, even getting a diving grave, we learned outside at the perfect time for that. Everything just pretty much fell right where it needed to this sea for me. And our spike enemy is a blue dragon. We're gonna have to use a stop spell because of its heal more, which is another spell that we just learned at level 14. by a golem? Oh my gosh. Three run fails to a golem at 74 agility. Um, we'll use third herb. We will equip the death necklace in the drag in the first form Dragon Lord fight here. Death necklace gives us an additional 10 attack power at the cost of a 25% reduction in our hit points. All of that takes effects on the next fight, which will be the second round of the Dragon Lord battle. There's a stop spell. I'm not sure why I used an herb there. This fight, this Dragon Lord fight is totally free. No need to bother with herbs. First action, 16, we might get a double, and we do with the Silver Shield. So that's 34. One thirty one. <laughs> Great rolls, too. I think our range is ten to twenty or something like that, or pretty close to it. One forty four, if my count is correct. Should get him in two swings here. Unless we double min roll. 16 is not a double min roll. All right. Return home. Oh, sounds good, neighbor. Kudos to Ohio. We do not need to wait for Gwalen, so on our last input right here, we are done. 54 minutes. 13 seconds, first place. Wow. 
<laughs> wow, 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 what a fast seed. That might be my fastest standard flag set seed ever. Standard with the new modifications of uh, Permanent Torch and No Armor and Sherlock. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the GG, fell sorcerer. Thanks for the GG, Mr. Sporting Chap. Should raid into Hoodie and ask him what's taking so long. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Or would I? I think we're gonna let the credits roll. I'm gonna grab a water that I neglected to do before I sat down to play. And then uh, I'll probably play last week's Seed of the Week for practice. <laughs> Permanent torch. We had uh, some, we had high strength gains in the beginning. It was pretty wild. to McGrew for developing my favorite randomizer. Looks like Hoodie is just starting his Sherlock dive. He'll be finishing in a few minutes here. Woo. So that's two jet seeds in a row between last night's tournament race and this community pickup race. PDDCM! Finished in second place, 56 minutes, 43. GG's. Also have to keep an eye on my Tecmo Super Bowl draft league. I am up in two hours to draft, but I could draft earlier if they get to me. They are running a half hour ahead of schedule. So what I should do is let the credits are rolling. I'm going to grab a water and then fire up last week's seed of the week. We'll see if we get torture. I'm hoping it's not that bad because I need to draft in two hours for Tecmo Super Bowl. So let's go seed of the week. That is this week's. Go to last week's. Oh. Heck yeah, Bo knows. <laughs> I got Thurman Thomas in my draft. The way that they did it is that you draft like groups of players on certain teams and they have it matched up where if you draft a good quarterback, you get crappy receivers. If you draft great receivers, you get a crappy quarterback. So they matched up like the Indianapolis Colts quarterbacks with the Los Angeles Rams wide receivers and vice versa. They matched up um, the San Francisco 49ers quarterbacks with, I think, the Seattle Seahawks wide receivers. 